Hey guys, it's Rob from back at you one more again. I hope everybody's doing good on this fabulous Friday. I'm doing great. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings to you. If you are returning subs, thank you for the support on both ends. Love and blessings to you and namaste. Please like and subscribe, hit the notification button so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Today, my video is about Twin Flame 101, being the best, greatest version of yourself. Be the greatest version of yourself. Be the best version. Whatever is, whatever is better, just be that. Be the best version of yourself. Okay, I'm saying, I, I just finished... You know, helping one of my friends out. They were stressing, so I had to calm them down. They always like, what would your daddy say? Chill out. That's what he would say. And back to business. All right. I was listening to Wendell's crying. He had me put on a fedora, so I went ahead and felt like I was going to put on a fedora today. So, I'm listening to, this is relaxing music, reggae resort, sleep, relaxation, meditation music. And it's just so relaxing. And it is... I'm, I'm just telling you, the, the video today, be the best version of yourself, the greatest version. It's just like when I look at all the things that I've been through, and I've told you guys this before, it's just like I did a 360. It's like people that know me, I'm like, hold up. <laughs> Where's the old Roswell at? I'm like, uh-uh, she gone. She is just straight gone. She don't like the building. And it, it's just like... This morning, I was up in my feelings, and I was talking to my dad, and I was telling him, you know, things are just not fair. You know, I was all up in my feelings, just like I really needed you. And it was like not trying to make him feel bad, like letting him know I will always need you. <laughs> you know, I really need you. And he was just like, you are just so strong. You're, you're, you're just getting it every day. And being the better version of myself and the greatest version of myself, it makes me feel so good. You know, I have to tell that ego to take the back seat and quit talking so bad on much. Because <laughs> that ego will creep up and mess you up so much. It will hinder you from things that you supposed to been done like 10, 15 years ago. I'm serious. It will have you feeling like the fear and the guilt of the things that you have went through that no longer it no longer represent who you are it happened yes it is messed up but you can't sit up here and dwell on things i know this ad was getting ready to come on i, I can't stand it <laughs> when i'm listening to my music and i'm then the ad comes on i'm like ah what is going on but anyways yes just be the better version of yourself just let that ego know you know you don't you're not gonna ask permission. Can you um can you stop talking? No, you tell it to shut the heck up. Shut up. Okay? And do what you need to do. Do what you need to do. And it's like the negative thinking, the overthinking, that is overthinking, oh my goodness. Cause it's just like even I can stop talking and my brain will still still keep running. I'm like, God, dog, can you just stop for a minute? Just stop. Can you get a rest? Just get a rest. And it's just knowing that my journey, even though it was hard and I feel like it's not fair, my dad got taken away from me and things like that. But this pain that I had to deal with has brought me so much joy. It's like a blessing and a curse at the same time. Yes, all these jacked up things happened to me. Yes, my family kept me away from my father. Yes, I'm going through hell right now trying to get all this stuff together. But it has made me a better person. It has made me a better version of myself because I'm living in my truth. That's what you, you, you never, it's hard to step out of your comfort zone, but that's something that we have to do. You have to get out of the old way that you used to respond to things. The old way you used to be able to project things or whatever. You, you, if this if if this not if this keeping you in stagnation, there's something else that you need to try to do. And it's just like I know, like with my videos, I have like about ten or fifteen views or stuff like that. You can go on somebody else's page, you know, somebody else's channel, and like you know, within the same amount of hours, they probably got one point whatever thousand or k or you know million or whatever but that's okay 
because they didn't do it overnight either. These folks has had this going on for like one or two years, probably about five or six years. Like I listen to Infinite Waters and he has taught me so much because I remember when I first started talking, I was like, when I was talking to you guys, I always talk with my hands like this and it's something my dad does too. But it was like I was more timid. Now I'm just like, shoot, I'm having fun with you guys. I'm like, shoot, this is I'm in my own house. Why I gotta sit up here and impress anybody for? You as long as you ain't got no booger hanging out your nose or whatever like that, you should be okay. You know? It's, you gotta be the better version of yourself. Live in your truth, live in love. Don't sit up here and worry about the next person, what they're doing, or you know, oh, this person made me mad. Yes, I, I'm a victim of it. I do it so bad. Sometimes where a person can really get up under your skin. Don't allow them to do that. Don't give them the key to your life. Let them drive you crazy. You take that key back and tell them you're going to be your own designated driver. You got this. You go. I seen a post the other day. My dad, um, this somebody posted it. My dad, it was one of his quotes that he said, talking about a triggered individual. Uh, if a person is walking inside of a room and they're, a person is just aggravated, aggravated by your presence is either they're feared I'm gonna add my own you're either you fear your threat or they're jealous so they got something that you want and if they if anybody can't see the dream for themselves and I said that in other videos if they can't see that dream for themselves they daggone sure ain't gonna see it for you especially it's like with my situation I've lost so many friends because they found out the truth about me some of them go on my Facebook just to be nosy just to see if it's really true. Let me see these pictures that y'all are talking about. Let me see what she's saying to see what I'm talking about. And then go about the business and block. And I'm like, I don't know what you blocked me for. It's not like I'm going to break my neck to go back and ask you why you got off my page in the first place. You already proved to me what you were there for in the first place. So it doesn't bother me. I'm going about my business. Don't let that affect me. And you shouldn't let it affect you either. It's just like I can go on my page. It's just like there. there's one about... They have so many pages that are out there and it's like one for depression and stress and stuff like that, anxiety. And it's like so many things people are going through and it's like we have got stuck in this mind state to where people have programmed us and saying, oh, well, we have a fear of being around a certain amount. You know, they're already claiming these phobias and it's just like sometimes it can be psychological like something has triggered off the reason why we're scared of this and why we're scared of that. And we have to let ourselves know it's all in our mind. Fear is nothing but fear itself. You have to be able to just block that out and do what you need to do. Yes, it's not gonna, it is not going to be comfortable. It's, nothing is, is going to be a big blessing to you. It's ever going to be comfortable. It's ever going to be easy. Because right now, I see what my journey is. I picture being with my family right now because even though I'm not there I picture myself being there that's how I know I'm going to manifest it a lot quicker anytime you're doing your affirmations and please do your affirmations if there's something like me I, I get frustrated because the fact is I see people with their families all the time and it's like yes I have my adopted family here but the damage they have done you know they're no longer family to me so I just send them with love and light but it's just the fact that I have family out there and it's just like when I see people with their family and they get frustrated with their family like, oh I'm not talking to them no more or you know you never know what's going on and you feel for families like that because when life is so short when I actually I'm having to fuss and fight just to get near my family you know and it's just like I don't put it out there on my different pages of who I am like hey look at me I'm princess daughter unless you get close to me enough that you'll, you'll pretty much figure it out and it's just like I was telling a girl that I met the other day a lady that I met the other day I said yeah I'm princess daughter but I'm just the girl next door there's nothing spectacular about me except who my dad is and it's just sometimes it doesn't feel real anyway but you know I, I mean like, there's sometimes I'll sit and cry like, my family really did this to me. My family really did this to me, and I have to let it go. And that's something very hard to let go. And I ask God, how is something like this so detrimental as far beyond repair? Am I able to let go of when these people won't even tell the truth? You know, when they have gotten caught. They still will not tell the truth. They will avoid you other than tell the truth. So I was just like, you know what? Let the universe handle that. You see what that's about? So you got to handle that. 
by leaving a long step aside and let the universe go with it. So it, it, it's a day by day process of something for me to let go because I've lost so much. But even though I've lost so much, I know I'm about to gain a thousand times more than that. But I'm not trying to keep you guys for too long. And I hope you got something out of my message. Be the best version of yourself. Be the greatest version of yourself. Be unstoppable. Don't let nobody take that away from you. You matter. You count. You're here for a reason. Yeah, you might be struggling through the, the stuff that you're struggling through, but everybody has to struggle. Until you know what that struggle is and your purpose in life is going to be like a, a hamster on a wheel. So you got to find out what your purpose is. You're here for a reason. You're going through your stuff for a reason. And life is too short. Love one another. Not, tomorrow is never promised. And I will talk to you later. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notification button. Even drop a comment. Let me know what's up. And I will talk to you later. Much love and many blessings to you. Oh, yes. And if I didn't tell you guys, because I did this video about 15 times, because I had to start back over. If I didn't tell you guys, I was listening to uh, reggae resort music. It's meditation. So if you want to look it up on YouTube, it's about two hours long. So it, it feels really good to listen to it. All right. Much love to you guys. Talk to you later. Peace and be wild. Oh.